What's up, YouTube? Connor Thrifts. Sorry if there's a big echo. There's a lot of room in these rooms. So right now I'm working on drywall, sanding, painting. It's gonna turn out so awesome when I'm done with my house. And honestly, it's probably gonna be a couple of years till I'm done. I try to focus more on my eBay store than I do on fixing up my house. But I have had a lot of time the past month because of the coronavirus. The only room that's basically done is the living room. And the only thing I need to finish is I'm gonna do baseboards all around the house and then I'm gonna do all new flooring. Living room's pretty much done. It's just couches that I got from Salvation Army for an awesome deal I think I paid. 250 bucks for the leather couches. I'm going to off the truck today because I did not know that they were open still. I, I feel like such an idiot. They've been open for an entire, like since the pandemic, they've been open. They've been like authorized as essential, like an essential store because they sell a lot of like masks, they sell hand sanitizer. It's like the only place to source right now. So if you guys are in South Florida or even Florida, man, just drive down there, source for like an entire day. Make sure you guys mention that you guys came from my YouTube videos. Maybe he'll give you a discount. All right, locked up the electric booty, made it off the truck. Hopefully we can find some good stuff today. It's gonna be a, a dollar an item and fill up a bag, I think it's like 30 bucks. All right, so the bag was $45 to fill it up, but I didn't find enough stuff to make it worth it to fill it up. So I think I'm gonna hook up my friend over there and uh, give him the rest of my stuff because there's some good stuff in here. I just couldn't fill up a bag. I've, this is the stuff that I grabbed. Neosporin for myself expires like next year, but it's a dollar for each item that I'm showing you guys. We got this hex bug spider that goes for like $20. We have this cabbage patch, I almost got the sour patch. We got a cabbage patch, goes for like 15. These go for like $10 each with the same wheels. This uh, Cards Against Humanity food pack. 15 bucks for everything right here and make like 200. All right, the wind might be a little bit bad, so I hope you guys can hear me. We are on our way to off the truck. I have to get there before 5.30 because I know there's gonna be a line even though there's only 15 people going to this special event that I got invited to by the owner. So it's kind of a gamble. You have to pay $25 to enter this store. You are going, well, I am, and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna use the camera with one hand, holding the Ikea bag with the same hand I'm holding the camera with, and I'm gonna grab as much shit as I can, and you still have to pay for the items. You don't get any free items. It would be cool if he included one free item, just a suggestion to the owner. If you're paying $25, man, you gotta like hook it up, give us one free item. I think that would be pretty fair. Hopefully we can find some good stuff because it is $6 per item. In my books, I have to get something worth at least $25 to $30 plus for it to be for, for it to be worth it for me to buy it for $6 and make money. All right, so I'm waiting in line. There's like seven people here so far. It's not looking crazy good. I could see like these Honeywell heaters that go for like 50 bucks on line but the shipping is just going to be outrageous but if i grab maybe i'll just grab one see how it does see how the shipping is but six dollars into like 50 probably charge like 20 dollars for shipping it's going to be a tough sell i might be able to charge like 25 for the item and put 20 dollars for shipping but it's not that much profit we'll see there is this row this row this row and then there's a back row so hopefully we can find some good stuff All right, so the bins are pretty much done. I got two of these. It's probably the best things I grab. I saw people grab some pretty cool ones though. Got this thing. I didn't look anything up. This is just what I grabbed. Five things. It's a Detective Pikachu toy. It's in pretty good condition. It's 800 pieces and when I used to collect Legos, it was every like 100 pieces. It was like $10, so I'm gonna guess those are like $80 each. Eric, you don't have to be on YouTube, but you don't have to be your face, but I'm showing them what you got. That thing's gonna be an ass to ship. Yeah, it will be. I'm thinking brown paper. <laughs> I don't know which one of these I want to keep and which one I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one because it's all beat up. Yeah, like I said, like if I had a truck, I'd come and get some of the bigger stuff and sell it at the flea market. Those little tykes over there, 
I'd buy them for six dollars and sell them for twenty. No, I don't. I don't have a license. All right, guys. So I'm exhausted. I'm gonna film a little bit, show you guys some of the stuff that I got, why I bought it. I am putting away the dishes that I got. I don't know if I showed you guys the big box, but I got this box right here. And a lot of the stuff was from Target, and that's why there was Legos. I got a broom. I don't. I mean, like a, a Swiffer wet. What is it called? Oh my God. I got a 12 piece like dinner set for $6. I'm sure if I bought this at Target, it would have probably been like 40, 50 bucks. I'll show you guys my current bowls. These are the bowls that I'm using right now. And to eat soup or like ramen noodles. Like this is a good cereal bowl, but look at this bowl that I just got. This thing is awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Like this is, this is a soup bowl now. Those other bowls, I think I got those at the dollar store. Then I got these big plates. This is perfect, I know, ooh, got some tape on there. And then you got these smaller ones. So, definitely a good upgrade. And the plates I've been using is either paper plates, which I'll still use, or I've been using these McDonald's plates. And I'm not gonna stop using the McDonald's plates, but if you have like a girl over here, you're having like a nice dinner, you just wanna pop out the nice plates. You can't be popping out. <laughs> I mean, I'm the person and I've done it. Like I had a girl over and I was like, do you want the Grimace plate or do you want the Ronald McDonald plate? And it's a good joke. It like it looks cute, but um, let's let's be real. We'll just we're gonna grow up a little bit and use the uh, big boy plates. I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got. I just think it's funny. Like I was using McDonald's plates. These Nike slides I got from my friend Joel on Instagram. This is not part of the stuff. This is stuff that I got yesterday. You guys saw some of that stuff. This is one of the favorite items that I got today. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. It goes for like 30 bucks plus shipping. I might try to sell it locally on Instagram. I just love anything Pokemon, so it was just a cool thing to find. This, I just couldn't leave it for $6. I'm not gonna sell it on eBay. I'm gonna hit up a couple of my friends that are like single moms that not, I won't say they can't afford to buy their kids nice things, but it's six bucks. I'll be like, hey, do you want this for $10, maybe 15? I'll make a little bit of money. Like literally, I'm not making much at all. I'm like, you could pick it up, get your kids something really nice that you can't afford. I don't mean that in a bad way though. Just, I'm trying to hook them up. This is definitely my best find. We got two Lego Harry Potter sets and they're both like the train set. I don't know who the heck this is right there. Definitely, oh, it says it right there. It says Dementor. We got the Dementor Hogwarts Express, 801 pieces, ages eight to 14. I got two sets. This one does have a rip on the top, but I'm gonna try to like fix it like that. Maybe like tape it, make it look a little bit better. These were going anywhere from like 70 to $100 each plus shipping. So I don't know if I'm gonna sell them locally. They are kind of big and I don't like selling like huge stuff like this on eBay, but it would fit in a large game board box, like a priority mail one, if I wanted to do like $18 for shipping. Then I got this for myself. It's called a Swiffer, not, I don't know what the hell I tried to call it before. And this was bought for uh, myself. So realistically, I paid six, 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 six. And then I think I grabbed one other thing, which was the plates. So realistically, I spent $25 to get into the door, which honestly is a lot. Like the owner needs to drop that to $10. I know there was good quality stuff, but $25 is too much to be in the hole because how I look at it is I'm spending $25, then I'm paying six, 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 so that's 24, so 24 plus the 25, I'm, I'm in the hole $50, and then I have to flip that. So let's do like a quick estimate. Like Let's say I sell this for 30, 30, 70, 70. What is that like? $200, so I'm turning $50 into $200, which is really good for some people. It is gonna take time to sell this stuff. There is fees, there's shipping, there's a lot of BS that a lot of people don't talk about. I am grateful that I found the two Legos, but imagine if I didn't find these two Legos. I got lucky with the Legos. I think I got lucky. I saw them, I was like, oh shit, Legos? Hell yeah. I grabbed them as fast as I could. But imagine if I only found this, this, and this, and like the plates. I probably would have been very upset, but I did get lucky and I found two Harry Potter Legos. I could see him improving the quality, maybe some more electronics, maybe some more video games and stuff like that. I'm, I'm happy, I can't complain. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to include a day where everything was a dollar and then the next day I got invited to a special event where you pay $25 to get in the door and seeing what we found and there was definitely some good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, comment down below what you guys thought was the best item I know obviously the two Lego sets six dollars a piece and I'm selling them for seventy dollars each that's really good 
I do love the Pikachu. Like, I thought that was really sick. I wish the batteries were in there so I could play it for you guys. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button, ring that bell, turn on notifications. Make sure you guys have a nice day. I hope you guys are staying safe. Stay positive. We're going to get through this, guys. And the thrift stores are going to open up again soon. And we will definitely be grinding a lot harder when they do. Hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.